they are made up of four panels. Um, the actual RRB lays out specific uh, rules now uh, in how dimensions the ball should be. Uh, I've got them laid down here. Uh, 280 to 300 millimetres in length. 740 to 770 millimetres in circumference of length. And 580 to 620 millimetres in circumference of width. Uh, and the rugby boots of soles with the studs allowed to grip turf the pitch to help make, yeah. make it to the ball really. Um, um, and n nowadays we get different types, like different makes of the ball. Um, I mean Gilbert's one of the best makes, it's used most often. Um, but you can also get like kicking balls as well to pra help you practice like for a number 10 or something to help practice with your kicking for like conversion and stuff. You can get um, weight balls so they help you pass in, they're just full of sand that you um, use for them to, park, to practice as well. So when it comes to actually using one of these balls we find that it's when you lighter. pass it it's lighter so you can pass it faster. Um, the shape of it is more smooth so for a spin pass you'll be able to um, pass it more further and stuff like that so it will spin easier for the air and stuff like that. Yeah, I that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk now about the protection used in rugby. Uh, like the uh, mouth guards. Yeah, about mouth guards. Yeah, so are used in many rugby. other sports rugby. as well. Um, rugby being obviously one of the most important. Yeah, critical aggressive sport. Yeah. yeah, it has to be huge. Now, how do you feel about mouth guards? I think it's the, one of the best things you can yeah. use. Really, it's, I remember when I was at school, it saved me a couple of times having that in there. Yeah. So, all in all, yeah, it needs to be done yeah. sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, it's um, I think it's really good. Um, yeah, just for your teeth and stuff like that. You can get, like, I think most of the professionals use, like, dentist ones that actually get moulded to your teeth. They're quite expensive, though. Um, but they're, like, the best the best gum shields you can because, like, when you get normal gum shields, like, they tend to slip down and stuff, don't stay on your top teeth. Um, but with the dentist ones, they're properly moulded and stuff, and you can choose different colours. Um, but they just stick stick up there and just don't come down so yeah. so um, I have sorry, I have a question and this is for both of you. Um do you think um referees communicating with the rugby players benefits rugby and do you think football should learn from this? Yeah I think yeah rugby is moving with time. Yeah it's basically I think it's much better much better the game than football. Um I think football should learn from rugby because I think rugby's a lot fairer. And I don't know, like, you don't get like in rugby, you don't get like the players going up to the ref and like, asking yeah. for a booking mm -hmm. or you know, just yeah. one thing though, respect. respect See, they got respect, like Massive if they've done something wrong, they'll say, Yeah, done something wrong, they go sim in or get sent off like that, clean. But in football, they're like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. But it's, it's all about respect. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's the last thing we talk about okay. uh, equipment wise, yeah, uh, the headgear. Uh, the scrum caps and stuff like that. Oh, okay. I had it developed over the time. Yeah, they got more padding in, like, yeah, around, around like this. Yeah. Around the temple. Around the temple. Around the temple. A player that I used to play with uh, um, in my team, he got concussion um, and he has to wear a scrum cap, even though he's not in forward, which forwards normally you attempt to wear. Mm. Yeah. And he played centre and he still has to wear one. Where um, in scrum cap, just for like if you go into a tackle and you get a slight knock, it's better protection than not wearing it. Yeah. So yeah. That's sort of. Uh, that's sort of uh, mental more than yeah. physical when an injury yeah. occurs. Yeah, as well you can get different um, types, different makes. One yeah. with more pad padding, less padding. Yeah. Ones that fit better, different fits. It depends like. what suits you best and yeah. what you feel comfortable with, really. Yeah. Um, today we'll finish off by talking about media um, and how we feel media's impa impacted on the game. Uh, so we start off talking about the World Cup. A lot of players had issues uh, due to media influenced them, yeah. sort of why they were away on the tour. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one uh, being uh, players diving off of a boat <laughs> uh, and swimming back to shore, which was uh, ended up one of them being arrested. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about the situation? Media is a big influence in everything. Yeah. Uh, it can make you do stupid things, make you say stupid, stupid things. You know, it's just one of them things you got to learn. And by being a professional rugby player, you've got to 
thing you do something wrong, yeah. the whole world's going to know about it. It's sort of in the limelight in yeah. every, so you, every move. You definitely have to be a different so Say, say like, yeah. you go up to like a bar and drink, one drink, yeah. they're going to know. Yeah. By tomorrow, look, manage it. And if you suffer like, instead of having one drink, you'd be like 10 drinks. Yeah, yes. well, you, you probably only had one, they just make up with yeah, 10. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so in a bad way, it's bad. Not professional. Not professional. Yeah. But then again, on the plus side, you can say, well, it's introducing everyone to the game. Yep. It's showing what they're really like. It's well, that's what you need to know. Really, you need to know what they're day yeah. in, day out, what they're like. Yeah. Um, and it's a bit, a bit of advertising as well. So you look in the paper and see, oh, rugby. Well, they won again. They must be doing well. And a bit, and that, a bit more advertising. England rugby advertising. Oh, they got over there. You yeah. know. Yeah, I think road players are like the realest people you'll ever meet. Mm. Um, I think football players are a bit like, fake. yeah, fake. Like they've been changed by the cameras and stuff, the way yeah. the media and stuff. But I think the cameras and media and stuff affect rugby players. I think they're the realest people. Like, so they've done deal really. really. Sports, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you think is a, is a, a negative to say on the player or? Is it positive that he's learning from his mistakes? We say? Well, well, then again, it is. You can take that negative into a positive. Like he'll learn from that not to do that again. Like, yeah. when he jumps the boat, he knows not to do it again. Yeah. So he's, he's obviously learned from that mistake. I say we, a couple of us, could have done that as a laugh uh, away. Should we say? Um, mm, okay. And we wouldn't have been in the papers. Yeah. But I suppose due to being in the limelight, yeah. and that's what yeah. his problem is. One place at the one time, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, and uh, that's led to him being paid. That could be also his like, his like teammates just egging him on as yeah. well, yeah. or people egging him on, so that wouldn't help either. So, yeah. And you got the media as well about the World Cup, which is the yeah, one about the, um, the, uh, Mike Tindall as well yeah. going out. Yeah, yeah. Mike Tindall. What do you think that? about that um, situation? I, know that's true. Uh, I, think it's, I think that's a bad side of media, because like, if someone else kissed someone else, or cheated, whatever. It wouldn't be in the paper. So why do they need to bring that? Like, why do they need to bring their uh, love, personal life into the media yeah. for everyone to see? It's a bit, a bit of disrespect in a way. Yeah, it? I agree. Mm -hmm. I believe when, that person did you go um, it, was, it was straight after the first game. Wasn't yeah. It? Oh, after the first um, game. Yeah. So new, newly game. married to Zara Phillips. Yeah, just recently. Princess. Uh, yeah, princess. Um, and uh, he kissed another lady. Uh, supposedly, mm -hmm. um, and the it was straight in the media. Time, yeah, straight in the media. So, uh, I believe his personal life should stay out of it, really. Mm. Um, what he wants to do with his life um, is his own, really, to be fair. Uh, yeah, he's going to be in the media for it, but everyone's entitled to do what they want at some point. Yeah, at the same time, media thrive on stuff like this, don't they? They'd, they'd love to yeah. see like David Beckham sleep with someone or Mike Tindall sleep with someone, this is what the media thrive on, but yeah. at, at the same time it is their personal life and they should be respected for it. So. Yeah. Yeah, rugby's rugby. And so last last point before we uh, leave it at that, uh, the manager of the World Cup, uh, he was criticised after them being knocked out. Uh, maybe it was just bad performance, maybe it was just uh, due to their activities uh, off the pitch really. Um, what does everyone believe on that? Well, 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 the manager was criticised. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't think it's it's his fault yeah. because you can't blame one person. It could, you never know. He could have been like, not doing the right thing, or the players could yeah. not be like, motivated, or stuff like that. It's that like, it's, it's not just a person. It's a team game. Yeah. A team sport. So it's England's it's England's fault because they they have good hopes. Yeah. And lead to France. Oh. Yeah. I mean, how many times have we beat them? You know. So is it is it something due of uh, sort of high expectations? Should we say? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, obviously, in the, sorry, in yeah. um, any sport, um, football, um, rugby, wider cup, um, everyone has high expectations on um, Great yeah. Britain or England, yeah. and it just comes with um, the territory. Really, I mean, we all expect to win everything. Um, it's uh, debatable whether we will win another World Cup or whatever, yeah. but. But that's the expect expectation um, we're around um, field with nowadays. So. Yeah, I don't think um, the media or the person that wrote about um, criticising the manager, I don't think that's a bit disrespectful because they shouldn't write 